Hello there, Maestro here. Back with another episode of Factorio. This is going to be kind of a more aimless video, probably. Probably more chat than actual video. Because the last video that we did was a rocket launch. Now, if you wanted this, that should be the last video, so please watch that before this one. Oh, that is low. That's actually quite loud for me. So, yeah, we launched the rocket. Hooray. And apparently we already have 51% back on it. Even more hooray. <laughs> If you're wondering, huh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's right, it gives you a module of pollution plus 100. 100. Any of the accumulators. That's, yeah. We're going to be completing a couple more achievements that are just all over the place in here. Like you were doing it right. That, I'm just going to pull out my rail blueprint right here. This is one of the more grindy ones, so I'm just going to be placing this in as I think about it. There's 800 rails. There's another 800 rails. If you're wondering why this is 200 rails, it's because it's a 10 by 10. But as you notice, they're they're actually crossed over, so it counts as two rails per one section. I could have done even more rails, but just the blueprint does register 200 rails. I saw that and I was like, wait, why is that? And I was then like, oh, that's why. 1600. That's 1600. I need to get that up even higher. There's a rock. There's a rock up here. It's actually funny. It's getting all of... What's actually crazy is trying to get all of these rails in here. And I need to get more rails. I need to get even more rails than this. That's what a hundred rails looks like, though. Straight from your inventory. Using a hundred robots. That is super satisfying. Especially considering that it looks so bumpy now, and then when it gets finished, it gets more. It gets better. That's going to be easy. The watcher step was going to be easy. You're going to see how to complete that. That train goes along this route. Hello, train. <laughs> oh great, did I just apply damage to my armor? Oh no! I respawn though. I am alive. Ish. Dead inside, but alive on the outside. Exactly how God made it to be. <laughs> and no, I am not Christian. It's going to give me all of the stuff, and then I'm going to be like, I'm just going to come up here, collect it for my, car for my corpse, and then it's going to then, get, it's going to go and put it all back away. That's, so, that's the funniest part about this. So you're like, ah, you're giving this stuff to me. Nah, you aren't giving this stuff to me. 
Really? If you get killed by a train, it does no... Oh, did I put the other one? Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. That did 5,000 damage to durability. Do you see this? I'm gonna put that there. Five... Wait, no, that was... No, that's right. Yeah, it did 4,536 damage. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> I just realized that last episode I didn't do my outro correctly. That's not good. I thought I left something out, but I always feel like I've left something out. But I never do. Hey, we have a satellite. As I said before, this is just going to be an aim, more of an aimless episode, so, yay. Oh, hey, it's right there. That's what a thousand science looks like, right, everybody? A thousand science, that's what it looks like. Running completely through a base, that's what a thousand science looks like. <laughs> and my base isn't even the largest base in the world, it's actually, this is actually considered like a smaller base. Although my other one was absolutely tiny. I actually bumped my mouse. I bumped my mouse so I just click, kept clicking the button. That shouldn't be zero, should it? Zero. What's weird, this is going to be more of a, as I said before, this is going to be like a more of a rambling episode. But what's weird is this. The default controls... For these slots is shift one, shift two, shift three, shift four, and shift five. That was accident. I have a that was an accident. I have a touchpad. Like why does there is this one, two, three, four, five, shift one, two, three, four, five? And there's nothing used for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But ten would be zero. Oh. As you can tell, my head is straight today. You need low density structure. That's explanatory. Ah, oh, that's not good. Ninety-seven. If you're wondering why I'm going in and trying to get another, another processing, enough. Why well, I'm trying to get another satellite? Although that does require a lot of processing units. That's just because I need that. I need it to launch another, I, I already have one, yes, but I need it to launch another rocket after this. So, yay. Forty-seven, we need more fuel, that should be more fuel. Forty-eight. Ah, amazing. 4950. Hey. We got it! Yay! If that wasn't unenthusiastic, imagine what the rest of my videos are like. <laughs> ah, that's great. That's just great. <laughs> I'm just going to stick a chest over here with satellites. Or I may just, yeah, probably just going to stick that right there.
Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this logically. We're gonna do it logically. We're gonna do a storage chest with satellites. Yay, we fixed the problem. We have fixed the ultimate problem of humanity. Which is a storage chest with satellites filtered. And then we're gonna do a tra auto trash for satellite, right? We're gonna do an auto trash for satellite and then set it to zero. This is going to be the best thing ever. And I may even do an auto launch with cargo. You know, I just, you know, I was thinking about this a couple episodes ago, a couple episodes ago, but what's funny is you could actually, there is a, what is it? Um, ah, uh, what was it? What was it? It's recursive blueprints. Yes, yes, it's in the mind. Okay. Well, it allows you to take a blueprint and then repeat it over and over using a chest. That's a custom built chest and it looks kind of like this. But it has blue on the right side of it. It's so like half of it's red, half of it's blue. And... What then? Well... Really? Did it really take that? It took my 200 rails and stuck him in there. Oh yeah, we need to get this up and rolling. One, two, three. Yay. What, where's all those? Oh, they're up here. Yay. So enthusiastic. So enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it only requires three, right? Or does it require five? It requires five. We need speed module threes. Let's go. And create speed module threes. Which requires... No, that's too slow for me. We're gonna stick it down here. Now we're gonna fix sources too. Okay, you need five. I need five for this. So we're going to take this out. Sending as they want to save up puzzles. Yay! Fourteen minutes in, and we're already crafting power armor Mark Three. I know it's Mark II. I know it says Mark II, but hey, do you really want me to say Power Armor Mark II and Modular Armor is still technically Power Armor? Like, really? You can put modules in Modular Armor. It's just really, really cheap. You can't use it for anything, really. Oh, why is that on my head? Why are survivors... Why is the survivors music in my head? Ugh. It's so sad. 
as in like the music itself is so sad. It's it sounds like they gave up halfway through the song. That's what it sounds like. Not even halfway through the song. It sounds like they gave up before the song started. But yay, power armor mark two. So both of these can actually be destroyed. And we're gonna stick all of this crap in the new armor. Trash. Trash you. Why do I have firearm magazines? Can someone explain me that? Why do I have firearm magazines? Okay, I'm gonna and actually translate these. Not translate these, but transform these into these. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy these. I'm actually gonna destroy, put these beacons back in my inventory. Okay, I'm not going to put these beacons back in my inventory. <laughs> Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Although there's a way more compact way to do this. I'm going to put ener another energy shield up here. Actually, wait. How is it that I normally do this? Normally how I do this is these go in the corners. We have batteries all the way down the center. We have roboports. Energy shield, energy shield, energy shield, energy shield. I'm going to put another energy shield right here, and we're going to put lasers. Actually, no. That's not how this is going. We're going to put a night vision there. Really? I have two night visions? Oh, that's disgusting. That is horrid, is the only way to say that. Who, who allowed this? Who allowed this to happen? You don't require processing units. This is going to be the last thing I'm going to be allowed to put processing units in for a little bit. Oh no. You require laser turrets, which requires batteries, which is not good. Ten times energy shield. Okay, well now that I have a bit of power, I'm going to go ahead and put those in my inventory, and then shift right click on that to clear it. Really? Oh, you only require that much because that... Ah. I thought those advanced circuits were going to take the full stack. Like, legitimately, I actually thought that. Well then, this seems to be a dilemma. This does not look good. Okay, now that I've actually done that, now this is going to bother me. That actually looks better. Because this is going to be red on the corners. It's actually going to be a little triangle design. And it's going to actually look quite nice. And as I say that. We are rounding up on. Minutes 20. Which is the end of the episode. So. I would just like to say. Uh, join my discord. Uh, 
like join my discord or support me on patreon if you want to links are down in the description hope you've all enjoyed the video so far uh give me an give me ideas for this series because this just might this is probably going to end up being a ridiculous just a ridiculous feat series I'm probably going to end up having an artillery train that just extends out from here all the way to here. That's going to be a fun, that's going to be a fun time. And we're going to do it in fashion of Lazy Bastard with the G with the assembling machines. Because I've already started the habit, I can't stop it now. Okay. Maestro is out.